We're back with another weekly update, although it's not quite been weekly for the last couple of weeks. Uh, had a few things go wrong for me. Um, was sick yet again, which is kind of annoying. And then in my sickness, I dumped a cup of coffee on my, the laptop that had all the work that I had from uh, redesigning the Coder Journey website. So after four or five days of like sheer panic, thinking like, oh, I just wasted an entire week by uh, messing up this computer, uh, ended up getting that off the hard drive and uh, I'm able to continue working on that. So that's pretty nice. Still making good progress on that and hoping to have that done within the next week. So by the time the next weekly update actually comes out, the Coder Journey website should be redesigned. I got my first draft for a tutorial for DigitalOcean submitted to them, but it turns out through some sort of email issue, they didn't actually get it because I just got an email saying that, hey, I'm waiting on that draft. So I'm going to send that to them again. Hopefully uh, that'll get published between now and uh, next week, maybe. Who knows? I have no idea how long it takes for this kind of stuff to happen, but I would like to have a weekly update where I say, hey, I got my first article published. So hopefully that comes sometime soon. Sadly, the web app challenge is not going very well. I have a lot of operational stuff done. So the things that are kind of behind the scenes, but the web app itself, it really hasn't had a whole lot going on with it between, like I said, being sick and then just being completely overwhelmed with all the other things that I've been given myself. So the redesign and article, and I have to prep some talks for conferences now and working on the web app challenge and doing the weekly stuff. It's been pretty hectic for me, but uh, I'm really enjoying the React stuff that we're digging into right now for the newest tutorial series. And I think that's got me pretty excited for how I can use that in my Web App Challenge application. So hopefully in the next coming week or two weeks, uh, we should have some sort of update where it's like, hey, this is where the application is at. And I would love to like put a snippet of video in here so you can see like this is what I've got so far um, and I can get your opinion on that. That'd be really cool. Anywho, that about does it for me for this last week or a couple weeks. Uh, let me know what you think about the new tutorial series. Uh, hopefully you've watched that. Um, granted, the first video in any tutorial series tends to be a little bit on the boring side if you ask me just because it's the kind of here's how you very, you know, just get started, like just get it installed, just do your first like hello world sort of thing. But uh, let me know what you think about the idea that we have for the application that we're going to be going through, which is uh, an application around working with chord chart notation. So I think it's going to be pretty neat and the stuff that I've been doing behind the scenes to kind of work on it to, to prep the videos. I've been having a ton of fun. So let me know what you think about that particular series and where you'd like to see me go with this kind of thing. And then, uh, as always, just have a nice week.